Hallelujah. 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 Lord Jesus. First give honor to God who is the head of my life. Amen. To my husband and co-pastor, Pastor Steve Denton. Amen. To everybody else in their rightful places, Minister Watson and his beloved wife. Amen. Missionary Albert. Amen. Missionary. Lord God, I ask yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. that you would have your way in this place, have you have your way, God. that you would let utterance be given unto me, yes, that I would open my mouth boldly, God, to make known the mysteries of your word, God. You've called me to spread Hallelujah. forth the truth of your word, God, and you've yes. made my mouth like a sharpened sword, God, and a polished arrow, God. Yes. Make me your bold servant, God, and empower me, God, to empower your people, God, and proclaim Hallelujah. your truth, God, to all that need to know it, God. God, prepare the hearts and the minds of these, your people, God. Yes, yes. God, so that the word that I'm going to deposit, God, would be planted into the depths of their spirit, God. Yes, yes. So that it would come forth in yes, due season, yes, God, as you yes. see, God, the time and the season to manifest it, God. Hallelujah. God, I pray and I ask all these things humbly, God, in your name, God. God, I ask, God, that you would decrease me, God, yes, and that you, God, would, oh, God, cause your spirit, God, to rise up in me, God, and Hallelujah. increase, God. God, that you would speak through these humble, feeble lips of clay, God, yes, God. and that you would have your divine way, God, that you would move how you want to move, God. God, yes, yes. that you would heal who you want to heal, God, and that you would deliver, God, yes. who you choose to deliver, God. For oh, God, we recognize, God, that you've given us a charge in this ministry, God, yes. to be a deliverance oh, ministry, yes. God. And God, deliverance means to set the captives yes. free, God. Yes. So God, I pray that somebody today, God, this word, God, Hallelujah. would make them free, God. Yes. God, this word, God, would cleanse them, God. Yes. God. And that they would be, God, crying out to you, God, yes. God, to find out what they must do, God, not to be saved, God, but to be delivered, yes. God. Yes. Amen, God, because we know, God, that deliverance yes. is the children's bread, God. Yes. Yes. So, God, we recognize that deliverance can only come, God, to those who've already accepted you for salvation, yes. Yes. God. And, God, we thank you for that gift, God. We thank you for the gift of deliverance, God. Yes. God, we praise you, God, and we give you all glory. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to come out of Mark 5, Amen. verses 1 through 20. And if you'll stand with me for the reading of the word in honor of God, if you have it, just say, I'm in the word. I'm in the word. Yeah. In the word. In the word. Amen. <clears throat> and it reads on this wise. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, ha, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send him away out of the country. Now there was, the, there, was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into him, into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country, and they went out to see what it was that was done. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And I'm going to go down to verse 19. I'm sorry, verse 18. And when he was coming to the ship, he that had been possessed of the devil prayed him that he might be with him. 
Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and have had compassion on thee. And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and how all men did marvel. Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. 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 If I had to preach from a topic today, you all may be seated. It would be, consider wrestling with the pig. Amen. I want to talk a minute about, it says that he had an, an unclean spirit. It says, an unclean spirit. That's one spirit. But then when Jesus asked the spirit what his name was, he said legion. Amen. And a legion is 6,000 demons Amen. that are inside of people because of the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of evil dwelling within us. Amen. And some of you were here last week and some of you weren't, so I'm going to touch just a little bit on it again. That, you know, inside each of us, when Paul said that there's a war going on in my members, he literally was talking about two different kingdoms being at war within each other. Amen. There's a kingdom of God and there's a kingdom of the devil that's dwelling within us. And those demons that are within us have been planted since before we were born. Right. There are different demons called rider demons, amen, that literally if you can picture a demon on a surfboard, amen, it rides your DNA strand and it rides your bloodstream and it comes up through your great, 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 great grandmother's genes and your great, 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 great grandfather's genes. They go back all the way 14 generations deep, mm -hmm. amen. So those are the things that are already in us. You know, and a lot of people have said Christians can't have demons and I, I've heard a lot of the different doctrine and I, as I've done a lot more studying, I'm realizing that that's a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. That Paul said that he was buffeted, amen, mm -hmm. by a demon, amen. Yeah. Jesus said that deliverance is the children's bread. Mm -hmm. Why would we need bread if we didn't have it as soon as we accepted God? Right. You know, some of the, the doxology that I've heard have said that as soon as you accept Jesus as your personal savior, all demons have to flee because mm -hmm. bitter and sweet can't be in the same fountain. But again, there's a war going on in my members, amen? So when you're born again, your spirit is reborn, and the Holy Spirit is connected with the Spirit of God, amen? But the soul and your mind, which is your mind, is not reborn instantly. That's why it's important for your mind to be renewed every day. And Paul says that in Romans, that we have to renew our mind and let it be transformed by the renewing of our mind, amen? Not, not be out here getting conformed to this world, but it's important because that's where the demons dwell, amen? That's where they attach themselves. Your soul is where the dirt lies, amen? It's where the demons live. It's where they attach themselves to your soul, not to your spirit. So there it is, your spirit and your soul are warring against each other. See, while Satan is prohibited and he's stuck and God has blocked him from touching your spirit, even if you look at the story of Job, God tells Satan, you can touch him, mm -hmm. you just can't touch that's his right. spirit. You can't yeah. take his spirit from yes. him. He didn't say you can't touch his soul, and that's why he began to go through all the afflictions yeah. that he was going through. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and I don't know how the man acquired a legion of them. Mm -hmm. Amen. He got 6,000 of them. He got 6,000 of them, and I'm sure some of them came up through his DNA. Yeah. But then, you know, you have to think about even the things that we do to children yeah, when we're raising our children. Amen. You cannot discipline a demon. Amen. You have to cast it out. You can't play with a demon. You can't have a pet demon. Amen. You, you just, you can't do it. You know? So you have to begin to bind them up, even though you still have to discipline and correct your children. You have to bind them up because you have that authority within you. Amen. The Bible says that greater is he that's in me than he that's within the world, but it also says that I'm a joint heir with Jesus, and so are each of you. So with us being joint heirs, that means we have an equal inheritance to what? Jesus has. We have equal authority. We can stand in the same authority that he did. Amen. It says that greater work shall we do. Amen. Than who? Than amen. Jesus. Amen. amen. So Jesus set the role model. Amen. He set the standard so we should be going above and beyond that standard. Yeah. Amen. This amen. man was dwelling with the dead. He was walking among the tombs. Mm. Amen. That's witchcraft. Whether people realize it or not, when people go to the cemetery and they start talking to the people that are in the inside the tombs, amen, that's necromancy. When you start talking to the dead, that is witchcraft. Amen. amen. When you go to seances, or you let your palms be read, or you read your horoscopes, or you go to tarot card readings. That's all witchcraft. And, then, and, and every time you do that by participating, That's you're right. giving those demons yeah. permission to come in. You're Amen. giving them a legal right. Amen. But I'm talking about even before this man turned 18, mm -hmm. how many demons did his parents who were supposed to be covering him allow to come into him? 
you know, and, and see, a lot of times what we don't realize as parents is that when we allow, when we open the door, we give our children permission to do certain things or play with certain toys or whatever else, God is not going to cover our children because he's already given us the responsibility of covering our kids. Amen. So when you allow the devil to take over, then God cannot cover him. And my backup for that is the story of Achan. Amen. When Joshua was going to war, amen, Achan, Joshua told them all, do not take anything that is accursed. Amen. And he took it and he hid it under his tent, amen. And they all, they began to lose the battle. They lost a whole bunch of men. They lost a whole bunch of soldiers. Joshua rent his clothes and he said, why God, what's going on? And God said, there's sin in the camp. Get rid of it. Amen. Be done. And what was, how, what was God's method of getting rid of it? Cut him and his whole bloodline down. They're gone. No mercy because you allowed it. So see, that's, that's what I'm saying. So when we allow our children to watch scary movies or play with Pokemon or do the Ouija board or, you know, whatever else that, that we know is witchcraft and is rebellious, then, and we allow it, then God is not going to cover them. Now, if we do it unknowingly, Amen. then of course God is going to cover it because God is going to cover you in your ignorance yes. because David, I'm sorry, the devil loves to use your lack of knowledge against you. Amen. Amen. The devil loves to use your lack of knowledge against you. And that's why God says my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Amen. Amen. They're destroyed by the demons that are within them that they've taken on because of a lack of knowledge. Amen. But deliverance is available. Amen. Amen. This man, you know, I can only imagine how tormented he was. You know, it said he began to cut himself. Yes, that's right. That was a, a tradition back then that that was how the doctors tried to heal people. They would literally cut the wound out and let them bleed out to the point where their body would, would either clot back up and would start to regenerate blood again, or they would die from it. You know, so he was probably wanting to be dead. He was trying to find his own solution, but he just was so tormented by the spirits that, that were either resting upon him or resting in him. And he probably had both because there were legions. Amen. So the ones that were ministering to his mind constantly, telling him, God doesn't love you, he's not faithful, why am I here then if God, you know, taunting him. If, if, you're so, if your God is so good, then why am I still in control? You know, because it's a deceptive spirit. You don't have control, but this man did not know who he was in God. Amen. And yet it says that when Jesus stepped off the boat, <laughs> hallelujah, the man ran and worshipped him. That's right. No, 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 no demon in hell can stop you from worshiping the Almighty God. Amen. 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 And every Amen. demon in hell recognizes right. recognizes Jesus Amen. for the authority that he is. Amen. Amen. They know that he's a deliverer. Yes. Amen. That's why they got afraid. But yet at the same time, his flesh rose up mm -hmm. and ran to worship Jesus and fell at his feet. Mm -hmm. Those demons could not stop him. They may have tried to put a paralytic on him right. so he couldn't move or whatever else, but the unction in him mm -hmm. was so strong that he knew he had to get there. Yes. Amen. That that's where his deliverance was. Mm -hmm. That man wanted to be free, amen, mm -hmm. but those demons had him so bound that they were destroying him. Right. And then yeah. it says that that shackles and chains couldn't keep this man. So the demons manifested in their own strength a million times over. So if they could do that to the shackles and the chains, could you imagine what they really could have done to the inside of his body? Yeah. Amen? I, I just began to think about that. And, and if somebody really and truly wants salvation and they really and truly want deliverance, uh -huh. then no demon and no power, right. no kingdom, no prince of, no. of principalities, Nobody can stop him yes. if they really want to get to him. Amen. And it's just like the woman with the issue of blood who pressed her way. Amen. Yes. There becomes a determination in you when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes. And when you realize what the devil has done and how much he's deceived you yes. through all this time, you begin to feel pumped. That's right. And then you begin Amen. to feel like, hey, right. how dare he do this to me? Who is he? Yes. Because God said I'm greater than him. Yes. So wait a minute, what am I doing here? You know, and that's our job to go out and tell people you're worth more than that. You have more yes. values than that. Yes. Amen. God loves you and you're special to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. If we can get them in the door, amen, yes. then we can get them free. Amen. 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 Because he that the Son has made free is free indeed. Amen. amen. 
they were sent to the pigs. They asked to be sent to the pigs. They asked mm -hmm. to be sent to the pigs. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, okay, why, why the pigs? When there was probably a million other people around, mm -hmm. they could have said, you know, let us go into all the other people that don't believe mm -hmm. that you have the power. Let us, you know, go someplace else. But why the pigs? Mm -hmm. You know, pigs back then and even pigs now were considered unclean animals. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're unclean. So when you gotta wrestle with something, you gotta get up close and personal with that mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. You know, I was watching a wrestling match and not WWF, but like the high school wrestling match. <laughs> and those kids really get, you know, really, really close and in very yeah. close quarters and intimate positions and you're shifting and one moment you may have somebody's butt in your face and the next minute you may have their armpit mm -hmm. around you. You're extremely close, mm -hmm. amen. They wanted to go into the pigs. Amen. The, the demons wanted to go into the pigs mm -hmm. because they love to wallow in the mud. Mm -hmm. And that's just like people nowadays. Mm -hmm. They love to wallow in their sin. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people say, well, this is just the way I am. Mm -hmm. This is just who I am. I'm just this way. I'm going to be this way for the rest of my life and this, this and that. They don't realize that that's a spirit of deception that's taking over their mind. They don't Amen. have to be that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Thank and there's a different way that you can present it to them rather than say, you know, baby, it's not just you. It's not who you are. Yes. You know, but you have to begin to pray within yourself to find that spirit of false identity up Amen. that's on them because they don't know who they are. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. They don't know that God fearfully and wonderfully made yeah. them. So that's how you have to show them. The Bible says, with love and kindness have I drawn yeah, thee right. with an everlasting love. And all you can do is love them to Christ, amen? amen, and then allow them to get in and get the scales dropped from their eyes. The Bible says that we're cleansed by the Word of God. That's right. When you get, when you take a pig, amen, and you put it in the shower, mm -hmm. the water has to run down. Mm -hmm. Eventually, their eyes are going to get cleared. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we have to do the same thing. We have to take the people that are out in the world, amen, that think that they're, that's just the way they are, that, they, that they're content with mm -hmm. the situation, that they're out there wallowing in the mud, that they've accepted and they've learned to accept that this is just the way I am. I'm just bound to be broke because my mother was on welfare right. and I'm on welfare and my kids are going to be on welfare right. and my great-great-grandmother was on welfare. I remember Aunt Doris tried to get off welfare one time and yep. she lost her job and she ended up right back on welfare. Amen. It's just in the family. It's it just is. in the family. It's just us. <laughs> That's just who we are. No. The Bible says that you were fearfully and wonderfully Amen. made. Amen. The Bible says that you're the head and not the tail. That's right. You're above only and not beneath. Amen. It doesn't just say you're above. That's it right. says you're above only. Yeah. That means you can't go any lower mm -hmm. than above. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's something to think about. You can't go any lower than above because yeah. God has already put you on top. If he sets you on top and he's telling you you're on top only, mm -hmm. there's no room for you down there. That's right. Amen. There's no room for you to walk around without deliverance. Amen. Amen. And there's so many different things that we have to be delivered from. And there's no way on earth that we will ever be delivered at a hundred percent completely when we are then we will be dead and we'll be raptured up amen. Amen. Yes. but deliverance is a daily constant process yes. amen but you have to learn to recognize the things that are in you you yes. have to yes. know yes. the yes. demons that are in you amen, amen. this man had so many there was no way he could know there was no way that he could know but yet he knew that he needed help amen. and that was the, the beginning part of it amen. he knew he needed help When I finished reading the story, I went back and I said, okay, God, what, what is it? You gave me the topic. Now, what is it about the pigs, God? What, what is it about the pigs? And God said, even the pigs had common sense. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to live with the demons. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they all came together in unity, yeah. amen, and herded themselves off the cliff together mm -hmm. and pushed themselves off. It wasn't like the back pig was pushing the front pig. They all came together in a unity, in a unified force, and drove themselves off of the cliff into the, into the water, into the abyss, which is where Jesus cast all the demons out. Mm -hmm. Even in, in the word when it says, if you speak to the mountain and you tell the mountain to move right. and be cast yes. into the yes. sea. Yes. See, that's where the abyss is. When yes. you cast the demon out, you, have, you can't tell it, I send you back to the pit of hell. Because mm -hmm. when you send him back to the pit of hell, he'll just be reassigned right. to another right. demon, right. to another person, to another vessel. Amen. Mm -hmm. that's right. Amen. But you've got to send him to the abyss, which is to the bottom of the ocean. Yes. That's where Jesus sent him. They're not to return. Yes. That's where your sins are. Yes. Amen. You want your sin to return? Mm -hmm. 
Everything that you've repented yes, for, yes. nobody wants Amen. that to return. Amen. The demons are down there with that in the, in the abyss. Jesus. But again, most people, most people would still rather live with their demons mm -hmm. rather than seek God for deliverance, mm -hmm. rather than to accept deliverance as a gift that God has given us, just like he's given us the gift of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. When he gives us the Holy Ghost, he gives us that anointing. Mm -hmm. The anointing is what breaks and destroys yes. all the yokes. Yes. So when you receive the Holy Ghost, you have the authority within you right. to begin to bind up stuff that's in you. Amen. You have the authority to bind stuff up that's over your children. Yes. Amen. And you have that authority <laughs> to begin to lead other people to their deliverance. Amen. I would never ever recommend going into a deliverance session by by yourself, one-on-one right. -on -one with somebody. Amen. Jesus sent him out two by two yes. to deliver people. Amen. Amen. You always need somebody else because it's always good to have a second pair of eyes. That's right. Demons manifest in different ways. Amen. They can manifest through sneezing, mm -hmm. through yawning, mm -hmm. through tears, through coughing. Your ears can block up. You can mm -hmm. start burping. You can start farting. There's a whole bunch of different ways that demons manifest. But sometimes they try to get violent with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you have to remember when they start to get violent that you have the authority. Amen. And you can tell them just like Jesus did. Shut up and sit down. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. And if, if you're in a corporate setting and you're doing corporate deliverance and you see a demon beginning to manifest violently, you tell it, no, not here. I'm the one in control. Amen. Sit down. I want to see her back. And you call the person back. And then when you get them back, you tell them we need to go into the office. Amen. And wisdom at all costs. Amen. The Bible says, he that wins a soul must be wise. Their yes. souls are already, their spirits are already won. Mm -hmm. But their souls That's still have to be won. Yes. Amen. Yes. And you have to use the wisdom yes. that God has given you. And that God has it, used the knowledge that he's imparting into you. Yes. Amen. Through his word to win them. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Just like with the prodigal son. He went out. He basically disrespected his father mm -hmm. because he asked his father for his inheritance while That's his right. father was still alive. Mm -hmm. Amen. You don't get your inheritance until right. your parents are dead. That's right. Amen. So he basically said to his father, I wish you were dead mm -hmm. so you could give me my money. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Amen. He, he took it and he went rebellious. Amen. You know, then he got out there and rather than come back, he allowed his pride to put him into a situation where he was with the pigs. Right. Mm -hmm. He was living with the unclean stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was dwelling with it. He was getting comfortable with it. He was loving his job for a season. Mm -hmm. Amen. Until one day he looked around because he was hungry and even the pig food couldn't fill him anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he said, well, wait a minute. What am I doing here? My father's got all this money. You know, his servants are living better than I am. So if I just go back and I tell him I'm sorry, then if he's a real father, then he'll just take me back and he'll let me be a servant. Mm -hmm. All I want to do is just go be a servant because the servants are eating better than, than I am right now. But his father, who was a real father, mm -hmm. amen, took him back in the fullness, amen, amen, and said, you're not going to be a servant. When he got back, his father put a robe on him, amen, and the robe was a symbol of his love. His ungod, undying love, amen. And then he put his ring on him, which is you're back in the family, a reinstatement. And then he put shoes on his feet, amen. And the shoes on his feet were the actual symbol that you are not coming back as a servant. Amen. Because the servants were the only ones back then that did not wear shoes. Amen. So his father put him, reinstated him at 100%. And that's how God is with us, amen. No matter what we do, no, how many, no matter how many pigs we choose to go out and wrestle with, mm -hmm. How many demons we want to keep, amen. amen, because again, we all are, deliverance is available for all of us, amen, but you got to release them all, well, you got to be ready to, mm -hmm. you can't be selective, That's right. amen, you can for a little while, but eventually it's, it's going to come back, back. Yeah. it's going to come back and it's going to bite you, yeah. amen, yeah. because see, sin always promises more than it gives, yes. amen, it always yeah. takes you farther than where you wanted to go, amen. Amen. amen, and it always leaves you worse off than where yes. you were before, oh, amen. amen, that's just how sin operates, amen. you know, that's how the devil operates, yes. he always brings you out there, gets you out there, mm -hmm. and then makes you want to go back and, and afraid to go back, that's right. mm -hmm. he's got those demons ministering to your mind constantly that you can't go back, mm -hmm. that life is so bad that God doesn't love you enough to take you right. back, but see, God loved him enough, yes. he loved that demonized man enough, yes. To, to keep him alive. He would not allow the devil to take his soul. Yes. He would not allow that man to die no matter how many times he cut himself, mm -hmm. 
No matter how many times he went through the graveyard, no matter how many times he may have even cried out to God and said, I'm so miserable, just take my life. Because he knew that there was a day coming that Jesus was going to be there. Yes. He knew that his day of deliverance was appointed unto him. Amen. And today is a day that's appointed to everybody for deliverance. Deliverance is available, amen, for all of us. All we have to do, amen, is begin to strip the legal rights of those demons that have come in. Amen. Then we have to move into forgiveness because forgiveness is the key point. You cannot get deliverance if you cannot give forgiveness. Amen. Amen. And the person that you have to forgive the most is yourself. Amen. 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 You have to let yourself be forgiven. Amen. Amen. Because God has already forgiven you. And then you actually have to give Everybody that's ever hurt you, Amen. you have to forgive them. Amen. You know, it, it's just imperative. God cannot begin to operate and, and move in his deliverance power until you've released it. Yes. And, then, and then you just pray and then you begin to bind the things up that are in you that you Amen. know. Yeah. You can take authority over it. Mm. You can do it in your car. You can do it here. You can do it in a one-on-one -on -one session. Yeah. You can do it at home. You can do it in your bathroom, yeah, in your bedroom. Right. Wherever you yeah. feel yeah. led to go through that process and get your deliverance, it's available. Yes. God is not Amen. He has no respect to person. Yes. Amen. If it's available to me, it's available to you. Amen. It's available to you and it's available to you. Hallelujah. Wherever you want it. God is saying it's yours for the asking. Yes. I just told you what the process was. It's just that easy. Yes. All you have to do is want. All you have to do is get tired of wrestling with your pigs. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's your name, God. I just don't understand why why there are so many people out here that are even saved and are, are Christians that continue to wallow. But then the Spirit of God began to minister because they like it. Amen. They like the mess. You know, their flesh has deceived them into what they think feels good. Mm -hmm. You know, their mind has deceived them. They've become so consumed that they don't even recognize that they're being taken over. Right. Amen. And it's not that they've been given over to a reprobate mind right, yet. Right. Amen. But they they have demons. And some demons are stronger than others. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and again, the kingdoms that are going on within them, we don't know what their daily fight is even after they fall. Right. Amen. We don't know if conviction is coming, but when the conviction comes, if instantly the, the stronger demon comes in and takes the conviction away. And it could happen just like that. If we allow ourselves to not go out and share what God has done with somebody else, then we're going to be held accountable. Amen. 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 We're going to be held accountable. That's why God has sent our ministry here to this place for such a time as this. Because it's time for Delaware to become empowered. Amen. And, and I believe that the vision that God has given us for this ministry is so much bigger than just Delaware, amen, but we have to start someplace, amen. 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 And the Bible says, despise not small beginnings, amen. amen, and you can't ask for a smaller state than Delaware, amen. 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 So I thank God for that. I thank amen. God for that. And I just want to pray with everybody today, amen, as I finish concluding the word, amen. amen. If everybody would just stand to their feet. I thank God.